So let's get him started. We'll talk about him. Three, two, one Tetris. But uh, yes, Fractal multi-time CTM Masters event winner, as well as uh, Lone Star and uh, all these other things. All right, we're waiting for Pixel Andy to start. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. All right, Pixel Andy's capture. All right, we'll just go from here. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It didn't affect anything. So Andy having some capture problems. So we'll see what happens. 2799 super chat from Tac Nyrus on YouTube says go pixel fractal. Thank you, Tacky. Appreciate that. So we are here, Fractal Multi-Time CTM Masters Event winner, Pixel Andy, a multi-time CTM Masters Event winner, Fractal, of course, your Classic Tetris World Champion 2023, also the runner-up in 2022, Pixel Andy, the runner-up in 2020, and both players perennial top eight finishers in CTWC. So pretty exciting to have these two players here in a DAS match. In our first ever Classic Tetris Monthly DAS Masters event. Players, of course, known for their prowess with rolling the now ubiquitous play style of the top players in the world in all open competitions. But it's fun, yes, to have them here playing DAS. And, you know, I think this is the style where really both of them got their start. Fractal, you'll notice, has sort of what we would recognize as a tapping grip, but is playing DAS. And you can see that with the sort of the DAS input display on the screen. Fractal started on keyboard and, you know, as a DAS keyboard player, just got comfortable with... Uh, you know, a certain way of attacking the buttons. And, you know, when trying to translate that into an NES controller, this is how he feels he can best play DAS, and that is totally allowed. 246 here for Fractal, 282 from Pixel Andy. You know, thumbs encouraged, but not required. It's kind of like when we say, like, you know, your contributions to our Patreon are encouraged, but clearly no one thinks it's required. <laughs> 292 for Pixel Andy, 253 for Fractal. So yeah, and you will see on the Hertz display that on Fractal side, it does say 30.05, but that's because in practice, he like tapped a piece at 30.05, but since then he hasn't tapped a single piece. So Fractal doing a little bit of a troll job on everybody. That display basically shows the last time a piece was tapped and it is not an ongoing meter that shows that resets after every piece. It really just goes anytime a piece is tapped. And it has to be tapped like more than one space, right? 355 pixel Andy, 345 for Fractal. <laughs> Winter says Fractal has that 30 hertz DAS. Good game, everyone. Pack it up. Indeed. He's figured it out. 30 hertz DAS. Fractal trying to, I mean, uh, pixel Andy trying to figure out the middle of this stack here where. A, uh, an L was dropped kind of in the middle. So building around that was interesting here. Andy going to get a long bar over to the left to build out that left. I mean, he's uh, one more piece here to get Tetris ready. He is Tetris ready, Pixel Andy. 
And he will Tetris over 428 and another one, 450 for Pixel Andy. Same line count. And Andy ahead by 13,000 points. That's about a half a Tetris. A little, a little more than half a Tetris. Tetris is here worth 22,800. <laughs> FCR places 30 hertz dash. Rolling is now dead. All right, so he fractal finally with a slow tap and putting the uh, hertz counter at something that does not say 30 hertz. But that, that setting will persist even game to game, you know? So, like, if it doesn't change, if he doesn't make a tap for the rest of the game, it'll still show 6.01 hertz in the next game. 524 pixel andy we're both on, uh they're both on 19 537 for fractal he's gonna take a skim and get a tetris 564 fractal andy's board starting to climb gets a tetris down the bottom of the board but his board a bit of a mess both for act uh fractal and andy took uh july ctm you know regular <laughs> tournament off they did not appear and now they're meeting in the semifinals of Das Masters. And I don't think that they qualified either for the um, for August. And they're not in August as well. So taking time to recuperate, reset, but you couldn't resist the lure of Das. It's a way to stay active in Tetris, but, you know, maybe uh, take some of the pressure off, introduce some novelty. 679 fractal 620 for pixel andy tetris for fractal 707 there is a tetris for pixel andy 648 one line apart and about 60,000 point difference what does getting a tap mean are they allowed to tap in das yeah that das play style like no no das player in history is ever not like you know tapped a piece like you will tap a piece here and there emergencies you wouldn't normally like if you just have one column to go like if it's just you're moving the piece one column you might have to or it might make sense to just tap the piece over one time without maintaining das or you know so nobody expects pressing and holding and maintaining das every single piece but what we do not allow is like hyper tapping or continual slow tapping so as to avoid having to play with das entirely so if you are a player of tetris and you are tapping like this will this will make immediate sense to you but if you're kind of a if you're solely a viewer and you don't play it may be hard to sort of wrap your head around but just trust us, they're doing the right thing. All right, Andy kind of spamming taps to the left here. Might be a little too many, but. <laughs> we do want to make sure players are adhering to the spirit of Das and not the spirit of spamming taps left and right. Nine twenty-six here for Andy as we approach level twenty-nine. And there's a Tetris down for Andy. He's at nine sixty-five at two twenty-nine, and there's nothing Fractal can do. Pixel Andy is going to take game number one. GG's to you, Andy. Game two in three, two, one, Tetris. Right, and he gets his first Tetris Fractal on the board with two.
Someone says, will Nenu get into August Dash Masters based on his appearance in the finals this month? Yes, we do have a semifinals rule. So players who do appear in the semifinals, and this applies all the way up and down every bracket. Players who do appear in the semifinals do gain automatic entry into the uh, next month's same tier tournament. But they will be seeded according to their qualifier so they don't like they don't get in the same seed or they don't get in the top four automatically but they do get into it so if they under qualify the tournament they'll get like 16 seed or something 140 for pixel andy 138 for fractal are they playing with the special dash cards that restrict the tap hurts other than the quick tap uh no we are not playing that mostly because we don't t care too much about one or two column taps the speed of that but it's something that we are exploring it's something that we could do we considered doing it at the beginning it was decided uh, or i decided that based on player feedback that it wasn't necessary it, you can use it if you want to but uh you know this is uh we're in a prob probationary period for this tournament and if um, we ultimately can't decide on a rule set that works, that people can follow, then, you know, we're not guaranteed to do this tournament really ever again after that period. So if we can do it with, uh, you know, the players following the rules and there being minimal controversy, we'll continue it. And if we can't, we won't. 259 for Andy, 256 for Fractal. Yeah, and the, yeah, the issue the issue was that th that is a feature only of a certain version of the tournament cartridge, and not everybody has that cartridge. So, two sixty four for Pixel Andy, two seventy one here for Fractal. There's a nice Tetris Fractal. Andy trying to figure out. How to get out of this nonsense. Can anyone name me a reason to allow for only the DAS mode instead of what we are watching? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, faster than DAS movements would be hard to police. And it's like, you know, the player has decided to. You know, they could sneak a few in. I mean, I totally admit that. But again, if we get too much of that happening, then I just don't, won't do the tournament. <laughs> you know, I don't want to do it like that. Uh, 329 for Fractal, 306. There's a Tetris for Andy, 329. 354 for Fractal. When will qual for September open? Uh, soon. You know, the next day or so. I mean, historically, sometimes it has a, it's been up to a week. So as long as we get it in the first several days of the month, we're happy. 386 for Fractal, 360 for Pixel Andy. There's a Tetris for Andy, 408, 411 for Fractal. Oh, Andy with the adjustment here, to delayed burn. And we'll get the single, 431. Yeah, this month we will have, August, we will have multiple brackets of Das Masters. I don't know <laughs> what I was thinking, but people really, really wanted to play, you know, and... Keeping it a top 16 made many people sad. And I don't like seeing sad faces. I want to see happy faces. We're approaching level 19, where the speed will increase by 50%. Players pretty much tied. Tetris is down for both 484, Fractal 483, Pixel Andy. Yeah, 
people are saying couldn't a version be made where it stops the das tapping after yeah they're already that's already pretty much there but it's a recent update it's not like it was on all the versions of it and we can either wait till everyone buys a brand new cart and never do this or we can do it now and you know just see what it evolves 588 fractal 569 pixel andy it's like yeah they're playing on physical you know carts 643 for fractal 624 for pixel andy fractal with that drop of the l in the middle of the stack and have to work around that No, every, all right. Everyone's got their ideas of what they would like to see. Um, you know, we're just in the testing phase, guys. You know, so we're, we're taking all this feedback into account, and we're not even guaranteed to have this tournament past September. So I've I've committed through September, but then I'll reevaluate. Seven thirteen for Pixel Andy six eighty four. You know, in addition to providing, you know, a forum here for DAS and having a fun tournament, you know, we also want to basically wanted to double the amount of streams we're doing since we are trying to do this full time. So we have to see whether, you know, it's worth the doing <laughs> uh, and whether the prizes can be supported as well. We do need to support the prize pool. So that's why we're trying to ratchet it up gradually. Seven eighty seven for Fractal, eight oh nine for Pixel Andy. Oh wow, Andy gonna quick tap that bar over there. Holy moly. Eight sixty for Andy, eight twenty six for Fractal. We're just about twenty lines away from level twenty nine, which is basically the Das kill screen. And Andy is back by a Tetris. So ten lines to go. Andy back by one Tetris, and he's got a dirty stack. Fractal has a Tetris now. We'll see what he's gonna do. Andy really needs to build up for two, I think, at this point. If he wants a shot. And he's still got room for two here. He gets one down. He's going to transition in at 924. We'll see what he can do, and it's not going to be enough. And Fractal is going to outlast Andy here in game number two and tie it up. Ready? Let's go ahead and get them underway in three to one tetris do any masters player not have everdrive or retron just downloading files right i don't know how to yeah some of the some players just have the cart and so it can't be updated uh easily i mean it could be you could send it off to a special service <laughs> to update it let us say or you can buy a soldering iron and I don't know, do whatever you gotta do, but. Okay, Fractal in a little bit of a pickle on that left side, so he's gonna have to bring this down, able to comfortably now get, get a long bar over. I mean, I think an EverDrive is a good investment if you're, you know, if this is like a major hobby for you if you're going to spend a lot of time i think getting an everdrive is if you can afford it is a good thing to do and you know most uh most hobbies if you take them seriously you're going to be spending way more than an everdrive anyway ultimately right there you go fractal enjoying his adjustments there and his survival eighty three thousand for him 117 for pixel andy
All right, Andy with the S spin 142, 129 for Fractal. <laughs> Cobalt. <laughs> All right, Andy covers that well. Long bar can't use it, has to throw it left. And now. All right, there's some good adjustments here for Andy. Now he's ready for a bar if the game will give. The game gives, and he gets a Tetris 193, 201 for Fractal. All Two sixty four for Andy, two sixty nine for Fractal. We are just about halfway to the level nineteen transition, which means you can just about double their scores and see what they will transition with. So you can see both players on pace anyway for kind of a mid to high five hundreds transition if they keep going at this pace. Left side for Andy is kind of a problem. He's sort of all in on the bar. Gets the bar though, luckily. And Andy going to survive here at 292, 318 for Fractal. Yeah, this month's uh, people in chat talking about this month's qualifiers for overall, you know, CTM, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> now, we're just calling it like regular CTM, which... I don't want that name to stick, but now that I've said that, I'm sure it'll, that'll just be what it's called because, you know, because. But yeah, the qual uh, the qualifiers went nuts this month. Uh, there's several people who qualified with 1.3 average of twos in Challenger circuits. Um, people just going nuts. So we have several Masters Caliber players who have qualified into challengers and maybe even some into futures i haven't can't recall but it's kind of a nutso month now when we rebrand the whole thing it'll all make sense <laughs> fractal 465 346 for pixel andy he's gonna get a dirty tetris column four two rows up Yeah, we did we get we did get a tier five community tournament. Now we just gotta get tier six for real. Four eighteen for Pixel Andy, five thirty nine for Fractal. Why is Laser and Masters, even if he qualified with a 1.2? Uh, we have a semi-final rule. So players who make the semi-finals in the previous month are guaranteed entry into the next month. It's a way to smooth out the variance a bit. Oh, wait, but Laser, no. Laser won challengers, actually. Now that I think about it. Laser won challengers. Yeah, he didn't make semis. I was thinking of eyeball. Yeah, he won challengers, and winning challengers gets you a free entry into Masters. We're into level 19, 460 here for Andy, 620 for Fractal. And people in chat noting that Fractal getting bailed there. And Fractal is here for it, enjoying getting bailed, as you do. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little off today. I started uh, taking these... <laughs> These sleep gummies that I bought from Gwyneth Paltrow on the internet. And uh, feeling a little off. Got to admit, 705 Fractal. I mean, they work. They really, you get conked out, but I don't feel like myself 100% today. 
Tetris for Fractal, 734, 530. Vandy, please tell me that's a joke. No, they're from Goop. I ordered them from Goop. And they work. I mean, you get conked out. I mean, for real, but... <laughs> uh, but I don't 100% feel like myself. Well, it's melatonin, tryptophan, and vitamin B6. And it tastes like a minty Tootsie Roll. <laughs> uh, and it's been working for my sleep issues, but I don't know, becoming a different person. 758 for Fractal, 600 for Pixel Andy. I did. I bought from Goop. I really did. <laughs> All right, Fractal with a 100,000-point lead. And what seems to be sort of evolving in this, da or, or at least coming to light in the DAS tournament, is it's so hard to overcome early deficits. And you really just have to make the decision early, I think, to go ham. Because right now, Andy back by 120,000 points. And I, I don't know what he can do from here. I mean, unless Fractal tops out somehow, but these players are like too good to top out. So that early pace seems to be super important. I mean, basically these players, we're so used to having them, you know, in rolling games, 330, you know, lines, but it's so compressed. And you've really got to be pacing early. I mean, Andy has no chance here. And he's going to top out. And Fractal tops out too, but... Andy here trying to eke out some lines. And this is kind of what I don't want to happen, <laughs> to be honest. Because I, you know, I don't know how to handle this because it's like slow tapping into level 31 but there's das too and it's just hard to know what i'm seeing <laughs> and andy is into level 31 and this is crazy a level 32 in a das game that's crazy a level 32 I, I, I don't know if this is DAS or not. Or I, don't, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to call it. I mean, but it seems like it's DAS to me, even though there's slow tapping in there. I mean, what the heck? A level 32. Dog says this was 100% DAS. And Andy's been kind of going for this. And it, yeah, and it seems not to have broken any rules, but a DAS level 32 in competition is crazy. And uh, fireworks, the, the I, you know, I can't watch every move, but chat on Twitch, everyone's like 100% DAS. On YouTube, everyone's like, this is, this is not right. <laughs> so I'm going to trust Twitch here and say, this is DAS. And it seems like this is crazy. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, my word. Ronkley says, that's right, executive producer, producer, get hecked. Wow. It all seemed legit. That's crazy, yo. In three, two, one, Tetris. Nerd the Box says, we're back to 2020. In four years, people will be getting DAS rollovers. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my God, how did he, how did he get that? And then, you know, it's going to be, I mean, that's totally crazy. Pixel Andy with what appears to be a DAS level 32. 
This is why we have these tournaments to push the envelope. To give people an opportunity, the regular opportunity to practice and, you know, set new marks. And uh, player on YouTube says, I rewatch with slow speed and 100% DAS. Andy just used a lot of 12 hertz two taps to regain DAS after quick taps. Twenty-seven ninety-nine Canadian contribution super chat from Tacniris says go one hundred percent Das Andy. Seems legit to me, but you know people are gonna people are gonna doubt because they don't want to believe, right? They. They let whatever it is in people where they want to, you know, believe that greatness is possible, they will doubt. But I, for one, I believe. <laughs> 169 for Pixel Andy, 166 here for Fractal. I mean, as far as I can tell, it is within the sod rules of this tournament. So at the very least, it is this tournament's record. Now, whether you guys regard it as whatever, that's up to you. Only you can decide what you believe. 199 for Fractal, 263 for, Frac uh, for Pixel Andy. Kip says, Vandy, you have to ban it since you ruined rolling with the level 39 double kill screen. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Like, so basically, as soon as it becomes viable to play Das deep into kill screen, we must kill it somehow. <laughs> exactly right. 270 for Fractal, 333 for Pixel Andy. All right, so when is the when is I guess do we have to put our level 39 super kill screens on or what? We'll wait till it happens. Andy going to move that piece into column 7 to make room for the incoming L piece and gets fed a long bar for a Tetris. So 402 for Andy, 339 for Fractal. I mean, I knew this day would come, right? And then I just didn't want to <laughs> to be with me because then I would have to like oh okay do I have to decide but I really don't we have our whole we have hundreds of people watching and they can all figure it out and I can just sit here and, <laughs> and go yep all right well the experts have ruled I'll go along with it 453 for pixel Andy 387 for fractal but everything appears that it is legit spirit of death. It only took us one tournament <laughs> to start breaking DAS records. Fractal with a high center, it's kind of in trouble. Yeah, he's gonna have to bring this down. Okay, he is bringing it down. Still there are gaps though. This could be a challenge here. He's gonna probably have to quick tap something to that left side. No, he's gonna get that square over. Oh no, the ant yeah, Fractal is gonna top out at 405. And Andy is good here in game number four. Both players are ready. I am ready. Are the pieces ready? 168 CBB. Yes, the pieces are ready. Everybody is ready for a decider in what is a world record match already. Let's see what happens. Fractal 2, Pixel Andy 2, the winner goes to the finals in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. All 
All right, Andy, starting with 49 pushdown points. We're getting a little droughted to start this game. My word. And here come the bars. And Andy can't really use any of them for Tetris's. Seems like the game's gone back to drought mode again, though. All right, long bar over Tetris Fractal 72,000. Andy's going to use one for a flat long bar burn. Kingsman loves it. Tetris Fractal 118. Two great champions playing in their, uh, what is now, not their main play style. And the winner will take on Nenu. Kind of a blast from the past. And we also had our, the runner up in the CTWC DAS Championship just, uh, what, last weekend. So high level play here, 149 for Pixel Andy. He's gonna get a Tetris 172, 187 Fractal. Jasmine, I'm not I'm not sure how many vits we have seen. Maybe Jasmine not enjoying this one as much as she otherwise would. Adjustment there for Andy to tuck in the T piece. Yeah, Jay Huang sad. I've been doing a lot more vits lately. I've, I've, I've been sort of reinvigorated by Lone Star where we had our vits off. And now I just can't help but do them. I'm doing them way too often. Tetris Fractal 239, 266 Pixel Andy. There's a Tetris Fractal 262. Oh, Jasmine thinks no such thing as too many vits. All right, long bars over Tetris's for each. Fractal back by about a Tetris's worth of points. There's another Tetris for Andy, 341. All right, Andy trying to bring this to some kind of order. All right, there's a nice flat burn there with the J piece. Andy's board back in order. He's Tetris ready. Long bar over Tetris for Andy, 392. There's the Tetris Fractal, 345, and another Tetris, 368. RXS says, this tournament brings back the hype of 2020. Yeah, yeah I'm getting kind of 2020 vibes. But yeah, there's something about these where it's just these games are are too fast you know it's like I, i'm used to these 15 minute rolling games that take forever and this it just feels so quick and it's like all right well you know whatever bye you know you played for 15 minutes you're done you know it's like nuts 485 for andy fractal 437 gets a tetris 459 so we are virtually tied Fractal back by a little more than a Tetris worth of points and more than a Tetris worth of lines. So we may introduce best of seven into August semis. I'll consult with the players how they feel about that. You know, we're trying to get it right. We don't have to get it all right in the first tournament. 5.30 for Fractal, 5.80 transition for Pixel Andy into level 19. All 
Andy up a little high here. It's got to be an, uh, a, a very uh, nearly irresistible temptation to tap or, or whatever if you're a you know a tapper or rolling player when you get into trouble and I'm, I'm sure some of the difficulty comes in trying to resist Tetris refractal 628 660 for pixel Andy There's a Tetris Andy 713, 654 for Fractal. All right, Fractal's left side, he's going to take that down with a triple. Then he's going to go to work trying to clean all this back out. It is a decider, so the winner of this game goes to the finals to face Zephania Nenu. And right now, Fractal back by 100,000 points. And he's also back by about 12 lines. So it's not as bad as that. But he does have to sort of make a decision here. What do you think Andy's going to do? How aggressive does he need to be? There's a Tetris for Fractal. You know, he'd probably err on the side of slightly more aggression here. 60 lines away from the level 29 Das kill screen, although is it a Das kill screen anymore? I don't know. <laughs> As we have just seen. There's a Tetris for Andy 926, and he's starting to run away with it. Fractal kind of at some point is either just going to have to have Andy top out or is just going to have to go perfect for a while. Now, for, now, keep in mind, Andy is ahead by about 15 lines, so some of this is, is just the line difference. And Andy, just 3,000 points away from the max out. He's 21 lines to go. Fractal trying to size up what he needs to do with just 30 lines to go until level 29. And the one thing he does need to do is not burn a lot of lines. That is for sure. Either way, 847 Fractal. Andy's got the max out. He's got A71. And Fractal basically needs to go perfect at this point or very darn close to it. Andy with another Tetris. He's at B40. And Andy may be going to look to go to two and just put this away. And he is going to just go for two and try to get the knockout blow here. Put this completely out of reach. I think it already is. But let's see what he can do. And he can't do anything. B44. Maybe he was going to try to get to that level 31 again. And Fractal is going to need a lot more than he's going to be able to get. And barring a miracle here from Fractal, he's going to need like a level 38. <laughs> and it's not going to happen. And Andy will move on to the finals against Zafania Nenu in a decider. Andy just two games ago said, my DAS doesn't feel quite right. Well, I wish my DAS felt as good in my best days as it does for Andy on his worst days because he's moving to the finals. GG is a 1.144 for Pixel Andy. My word. Hey everybody, this is your old pal Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you, and have a nice day.